Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to SL Premium. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to downgrade or upgrade to any version of Android easily. No command prompt or entering random code. It's going to be really simple. Literally the easiest method out there. And the only thing you guys need today is two things. A computer running Windows and a USB cable. You probably have one because you charge your phone with it every day. Alright, once you have those two things, all you have to do is step one, check to see if your phone is compatible with this method. So all you have to do is go to settings, system, and then go to developer options. If you don't know how to turn that on, all you have to do is go to about phone, and then click on the build number four times, and then yeah, you become a developer. Anyways, next, you go to developer settings, and now you get to this page and you should see this it's kinda of grayed out right now but let me focus on that it says OEM unlocking you wanna turn that on okay it might be grayed out and if it says contact your carrier or connect to the internet that means you cannot unlock the bootloader so you cannot do this method and you should probably stop watching this video but if you can enable it like you can toggle it on then you're good to go all right, step number two is to actually do a backup of your phone unless you want to do a clean install, then that's fine too. So once you've backed up your phone, let's go ahead and move to the computer. All right, guys, the next step is to actually go to the first link in the description, and you're going to get to this page, developers.google.com slash android slash images. And all you have to do is click over here to the right, you see here, and find your device. So in my example, I'm, I'm going to be using the Pixel 2 XL because that's the one I have today. And you want to click on this flash link. So first you want to select the version that you want to upgrade to today. So you can pick whatever you want. All the way down to 10. All the way down to 8. You can also install Android Beta. But that's for another video that I will link in the description which I showed you how to install the Android 11 Beta. Anyways, I want to go back to Android 10 stock. So let's go ahead and click on this link. And now you're going to get to this page. Welcome to Android Flash Tool. Click you got it. Anyways, first thing you want to do. Alright, the first thing you want to do is actually plug in your device. Okay, now I'll just leave it alone. And then the next step is to actually download the USB drivers and then scroll down until you find the correct download. So yeah, it's right here. Google USB driver. Just click on that and then it says get the USB, Google USB driver. And then click on the zip file and then go ahead and download. It should be pretty quick. Click on it. And now you should get the USB driver. And then the next thing you want to do is actually extract this folder into your downloads. Score a win USB and then click right click and then install and then click on open and then it's gonna ask for you to install and then click on yes and then click on trust this software from Google LLC if you, say, if you see something else that's not from Google then that's the incorrect file and you probably downloaded a virus so yeah once you're done with that that's all set you can close out of this window and now you can just click get started. I already installed. And now you have to click allow site to access blah blah blah. Just click OK. And now you should be able to find a device. So all you have to do is just add a new device. And then go you must go back on your phone and click on allow from this computer. And as you can see, it's finally connected. Now click on your device, and then we selected the build. 
the latest June 2020 security patch for Android 10. Yes, this is actually a downgrade from from uh, Android 11 developer preview. So yeah, all you have to do is click on install and then that's about it. You sit and watch the magic happen. Except, so yeah, do not do anything with your phone and do not unplug it. Leave it in all the way to the very end. So yeah, that's about it guys. Once it's done, it should be disconnected and it should say installer complete, blah, blah, blah. If you have any extra problems, make sure you guys contact me on Instagram or YouTube comments, whatever. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.